Hello, everyone, and welcome to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How are you all doing today? Thank you very much for joining. If you guys could right off the bat, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out my social media links down below. I got Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook so far. Maybe some others soon. We will see. Thanks again, guys, everyone, for joining in. Those of you that might be watching this live or archived, i.e. just a regular video. You guys know what I mean. You're not dumb. You know what I mean. Just adjusting my laptop to make my preview good. All right, here we go. Thanks, everyone, for joining in. So as you can see by the title of today's video, I'm going to be attempting to recreate Maynard Troyer's 1971 Daytona rollover. One of the biggest rollover accidents in NASCAR history, I believe he tumbled a top to bottom to top a total of 15 barrel rolls 15 or 16 and like usual for those of you that don't know the wreck that I am talking about or are unfamiliar I will do you the courtesy of showing you the replay so you don't have to go searching for it yourself shoot sorry hold on all right, there we go. Mess that up. All right, thanks to NASCAR for the clip, as usual. Let's wait for this to load up. So I believe it was the ninth lap. He only got through nine laps before his uh, engine blew of the 1971 Daytona 500. Coming out of turn two, Maynard Troyer blows an engine, hits the inside, uh, the turn two banking, the apron, I should say, and... You guys know the rest. A car's out of control. Barrel roll after barrel roll after barrel roll. Woo! And that was before the Hans device. That was right after window nets were made mandatory. That's when the roll cages weren't as sophisticated as they are now. That's when there was a lot more room inside there for you to whiplash back and forth. Jesus. Alright. Fortunately, from my understanding, he was alright. Let's go ahead and look at a replay. So yeah, you can see he already blew an engine apparently. Right there, his smoke coming out of his car. He's already sideways, about to hit the apron in turn two. When he hits the apron, his right side of the car digs in, and he just starts tumbling. I believe I counted one time. It was 15 total barrel rolls. A video somewhere says 18, but I believe it's 15. So, that's that. So like I said, fortunately, I believe he was all right. And right off the bat, before I get into the attempts, while I'm showing you the awesome number 60, 1971 Maynard Troyer, is that a Ford? I believe Ford, yep. Thank you so much to uh, Jeb Brown, or J.E. Brown, however you pronounce that, over on Stun Odd Racing. Link is down in the description. He painted this awesome car especially for me well not especially for me I'm sure he'll post it in the download section for other people to enjoy it but I specifically asked for this car and he was so awesome enough to paint this per my request so thank you so much to him go check out stunodracing.net and if you can I know a lot of you guys are just kids or just as broke as I am but if you guys can please try to download Jesus Christ I can't even talk right now download Please try to donate whatever you can to stunoddracing.net. Obviously, there's the monthly fee to keep the domain name, keep the website going itself. The people running the website have to feed themselves and keep the lights on. And every dollar helps. Their, their monthly goal, I believe, is just $40. So we got 20 people watching right now. If w each person watching 
live donate just one dollar they're already halfway towards a monthly goal theoretically so I appreciate if you guys can if not I understand but that being said I just figured I'd give them a shout out and try to give them a plug since they've been so helpful for me so far and we're gonna be using Daytona 1970 do, 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 do. Gonna be using the just 1970 car set that comes with it, with the exception of the 71 Maynard Troyer car that I will be driving. Don't want too many AI getting in the way. Turn this down to around 80. That's good. All right, right off the bat, the only two things I did differently from the default version of the track I and I changed the ch uh, chassis type from four to five. Basically turning the restrictor plates off. And I turned the grip from about 1.1, wherever it usually is, to 3.9-ish. Oh, I forgot to show you. Right before I started the stream, I was doing some tests, and I actually got a pretty... It's not perfect, but I got a pretty close attempt. He barrel rolls 14... 15 times in real life. I get 14 in this attempt. I uh, downshift, go sideways, hit the apron, start tumbling from the grip. The only difference is I go maybe 10 to 15 feet into the grass towards the infield more than I should have, but everything else is basically close. So, during the stream, I'm going to be trying to get an attempt like that, but a little closer to the apron, not so much down in the infield. Although, he stayed pretty close to the apron. He didn't go, I should say I, I didn't go quite down towards the infield as I could have. But yeah, that's the best attempt I got so far, by far, in testing. So yeah, I'm going to be trying to get something really similar to that, but just a little bit up closer to the track. Hopefully right on the apron. Let's jump right in. Thank you so much everyone joining in. If you could please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. I know it's cloudy. I believe it was sunny in real life, but you can change that after the fact. I just want to be in happy hour because I'm going to get a jump start from the pits and just try to do it right into turn two. Oh, you can see my car start to lift up from the grip right there. Alright, so I'm going to hit reverse going right now. Yeah, you went too... Too much to the infield this time. And landed on his roof. But you get the gist of what I'm going for. With the height and grip. Downshifting and instantly going sideways. I'll have to slow down the replay just a little bit to make it not look as exaggerated. Maybe from 100% to like 95%. But you get the idea. How do you change the weather conditions in replay? If it's cloudy and you want it to be sunny, just, I believe, go and load, like, a sunny single race session, and then exit out right away, and then just go to the replay, and then click, uh, click on the replay. It should be sunny then. It sometimes takes a few attempts. No, not abandon race. Limit 70. So right when I'm getting around to turn two, I'm going around 170 or so. That's about 170, 180. That would be their top speeds around this era. And I know they're going. To, the AI is going a little bit faster than me, but that's because I turned the restrictor plates for the track off just so I can get up to speed as quickly as possible. All right, downshift again. Oh, uh, actually, uh. I was up a little bit more towards the track when I started to tumble that time, but the way the grip was, I caught the wheels at a wrong angle and I stopped flipping. 
right there. Otherwise, that might have been good. <coughs> yeah, that replay I showed you, the one I recorded before the stream actually started, was 14 barrel rolls. And in real life, he flipped 15. So, just letting you guys know right now, if I do not get a closer attempt than the one I showed you before the stream started, I am going to be editing that replay. no one directly behind me like there was in real life, but I'll try it anyway. Ah, uh, see that's been happening. And then I'll hit this road right here. Well, like a turtle on its shell. Help me, I can't install mods. I'm a very bad teacher, I'll try to describe it the best I can, but just... YouTube, just do some YouTube tutorials, that's what I usually do for when I can't figure things out, but... You have to download a patch... Nope. Into the inside wall again that time. And he hits the road and keeps tumbling. You have to download a patch... And then when that patch is downloaded, if you Google NR2003 patch, you'll know what I'm talking about. Once that patch is installed, in your, you go to your C drive in your computer, and then you hit Papyrus, NASCAR2003, and then Series. That Series folder is where all your mods go. When you download mods, it either installs automatically, or you install it manually, the mods to that Series folder. And that's how you install mods, and I went way too close to the infield. But I'm a terrible teacher, so I apologize. I'm sure TNT Man 93 or FCF Guitarist back in the day. I'm sure someone else has already made a tutorial way better than I could ever describe it or teach it. He barrel rolled a lot, but I went way too, way too far to the infield. Brendan the Gent. Yeah, I appreciate the suggestion, but just like I said, I'm, a, I'm an awful teacher. My method of learning things is Googling other people's tutorial videos they've already made. Alright, downshift. Nope. Just one single barrel roll until I hit that road. If you try doing that, try looking up a tutorial video first. If you're going by the way I described it, just like I said, I might be explaining something wrong. But also something else I... Darn it. Something else I thought of. It might not work that way also if you're using the demo as well. I believe there is a way to get mods on the demo, but it's differently from the actual game. Behind me this time, but I'll try. Downshift, turn. Oh, oh, not bad. Oh no, now he's end over ending. That went from Maynard Troyer's flip to like Ken Schrader in '95 at Talladega. Just end over ending. And that was a little bit further to the infield than that first replay I did anyway. That one that I recorded before the stream started. To part four to Austin Dillon flip. Yep. There's a bunch I have to 
do follow up parts for. I want to do Justin Fontaine's Arca Flip Part 2 again soon. Again. I want to try that again to do Part 2 soon. Because I was really close on like the second to last attempt of that video. Alright. Downshift. Come on. Come on. Now he's end over ending. Alright. That was like the second to best attempt I've had, because he went too... He went too far to the infield again, but... Maybe I need to start a little bit higher up in the track. I'm going to... Restart the session to get rid of all the tire marks. Maybe I need to try that... Try it a little bit higher up in the track. So when I downshift, I have more of a chance of staying right on the apron as opposed to going down onto the infield. I got one of the Andretti's right behind me. Come on. Alright, that's closer to what I was looking for. Until that happened. He pulled a Ryan Newman at the end. Oh, and now we got cars piling in. Got one stopped up high. You alright? Whoa. Looks like we lost that motor. Got a big crash after my flip. What was better? I was staying closer to the apron while I was tumbling. Except I landed wrong and the grip from the tires messed up the flips. And that 22 got a hit. And he gets hit by someone. A couple cars. And the 17 car gets drilled by someone. The 03 car goes tumbling into the infield. Damn. Talk about Arca brakes. Limit 70. Keep it under 4500. Say hi, please. Hi, please. See what you did? I looked away from the screen so I could respond to your comment. I rear-ended someone at 120 miles an hour in the pits. See what you made me do? What patch is it for the mods? It's the 1.2.0.1, whatever it is. Just look up NR2003 patch. Maybe like the first thing that comes up. Did a little end over ending. Didn't start flipping right away. Kind of paused for a second and I landed upside down. Right there's that pause I was talking about. When he's waiting to dig in again. Why do I keep interchanging between he and I in terms of pronouns when referring to these attempts? I do not know. Maybe because I suck at English. Let's actually go on board with Maynard Troyer, circa 1971, see what he saw. Look at this vintage roll cage, all that padding. Nope. He dug in at one point, started spinning, and then the roof dug in and flipped. Sorry, that's not you guys. That's not the computer freezing. I was just checking outside the window. 
for a second. Why are we buffering? Alright, next attempt. Let's try one more time. The in-car view. Right around here. Downshift. Come on. Ah, oh, nope. Just head on into the wall instead. And then flip in once I hit that road. this one. Start right at the top of this groove. Nope, never mind. Just head on into the guardrail instead. And absolutely destroyed by Dave Marcus. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh, they went down low. Go low. You all right? They missed it. Go over 70. Keep it under 4500. Cars are everywhere on the back straight. Too far to the infield. And he spun during the flips. Just like I said, that first one I did before the stream started, the one I showed you right at the beginning of the video, it's probably the best one I'm gonna get. Well, I'll still do this for another 40 minutes. Try Ricky Craven and Kurt Busch, Darlington finish. I will, in the week leading up to Darlington, it's on my list of one of the reenactments to try. Nope, just into the guardrail again. And once again, it was Dave Marcus that hit me. Shift. And why does that keep happening? Maybe I'll try first. I've been downshifting into reverse. Maybe I'll try first this time. in the first. That was almost too fast. And that grip slowed me down before I had the chance to do more than a couple of flips. Mark Martin's crash when he crashed in the pit wall. I can try that.
I'm gonna try first again. Not quite. fail. Except for when I hit that road and dug in. Don't go over 70. Keep it under it. 4, number 10 car. Limit You're not supposed 70. to be in your pit. Keep it under 4, that speed now. Keep it on 4, in well, that escalated quickly. Well, it took about about 15, 20 spectators. Rest in peace. All right, guys. I don't usually do this. I gotta take a bathroom break. Don't usually do this for the can I recreate streams, but I will leave you guys with the previous attempts so far. I will be right back. have returned. All right. So after the fans have had a chance to recover, let's get back into another attempt. Close as that first one. Similar, but not as close as the first one because I went too close to the infield. Too far to the infield. How dare you! Yeah, catch fence crash. Alright, I'll stop screwing around now. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 4,500. Okay, 
cops get really dizzy by doing this view. And over in. And then an over end. And a no stand at the end. Let's see what that looked like. Before you suggest that I need to turn the grip down, every time I turn the grip down to lesser than what it is, I could never flip on command when I tried downshifting. Believe it or not, there's usually a couple hours worth of behind the scenes settings, tests, and practice runs before I actually do each live stream. I used to just free ball them, but I actually put some planning into them now. Not going right into the wall. This tumble. That was a hard wreck for Troyer and a lucky one for the number 40. Hamilton. Is that the guy that recently passed away? If so, rest in peace. Woo! That was close. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 4,500. Looking good, but the back end kicked the car and started to tumble it end over end. syndrome. All those tire marks. attempt in this one I'm going to edit that one I recorded before the stream started. Nope. That was a really hard wreck. Smash that inside wall. Limit seventy. Keep it under forty five hundred in seconds. Watch that speed now. Keep it on forty five hundred in seconds. Okay, you're real quick. Don't work yet. Outside. 
Is anyone else's audio static? Tend to talk about the Kenny Brock Texas crash. Yeah, that was nuts. Literally nothing was left of the car except for the safety capsule. Looked like what's ejected from those speedboats. After those things break apart, that was all that was left of his car. little safety pod. No. Oh, am I going into the Lake Lloyd? Nope, not today. Thanks to the banking kicking me back to the track. Ish. Podcasts and I have a messed up audio jack. Get off the apron. It's all before you go sideways. No. Uh oh. Multiple IndyCar mods for NASCAR Racing 2003. My favorite is the DW12 that for the newest style Indy cars. Do Davey Ellison flip? I've tried both of his flips once. I still need to do part twos for both of them. It's 1989 Daytona flip when he rolled over in the banking, and his 1992 Pocono flip. Oops. I don't know why I went past turn two, but I guess I'll do this. Alright, I'll stop goofing around now. Austin Dillon launch. Hey, you turned the chassis grip up in the track I and I file. Gotten plenty of launches, just not one that is perfect. Nope, going towards the infield. Possibly in the lake. Nope. If it wasn't for that fence that kicked me back. I have not seen your iRacing friend request yet. Sorry, man, I haven't been on there in a couple weeks. Next time I'm on there, I will definitely accept it, but I haven't been on iRacing in a couple weeks, so I apologize. Oh. Next. Cars look really cool on board, and the engine sounds better. All right, 
so I barrel rolled a lot, but let's see what that looked like. I think I spun the wrong way at some point during all those flips. That was looking decently close. Until that end part. As close as that one was for the start of it, the first one I did was a little bit closer. The one that I have the replay saved for. Nope. It's hard into the inside wall. Not even over to replay. to the channel, Aaron Fox, and thank you for joining, as well as our 2003 Legends, Ron Kuskitex, Random Idiot, Harambe, Eric, Pace Crosser, Nascar Duwalcott, Maxwell Newton, thanks guys for joining. See, look at that, I was giving you guys shoutouts and you made me miss my shot for an attempt, so now I'm going into Lake Lloyd. Maybe. Oh, close. Get up there. Get in there. Nope. I'm already past the lake. I just pulled a Mark Martin to crash at a way lower speed. Oops. No. That one didn't work. Now I start tumbling from that road, from the grip. And land upside down. Climatically, but still anticlimactically at the same point. At the same time. Yeah, this is one of the bankings in Daytona you can go through a little bit. I need to post another question to stun out. I've been looking for a version of a track I can't find. Three, two, one. And over end. It turned into Ken Schrader slash Mark Thompson's flip. How do you instantly return to pits? So you hit return to pit. You hit escape and then return to pit. But you can only do that without the uh, tow truck in practice and happy hour mode. Oh, I spun too fast that time. Is anyone gonna hit me? Gonna sitting duck, is anyone gonna hit me? Nope, they all missed me. C Gordon. That's not related to Jeff Gordon, is it? Whoa. Got two wheels there. Now I'm going in Lake Lloyd. Uh-oh. Someone give him a scuba mask. I'll try the 96 Dale Senior crash at some point. He wasn't seriously injured. I mean, injured enough. He had a broken collarbone and 
couple other minor non-life-threatening injuries enough to give a thumbs up. Yeah, it's just gonna be difficult. Yeah, I won't do the obvious senior crash for obvious reasons. Oh. Spun too fast again that time. Too high up in the track. No, I was looking at the comments and I ran into the back of Bobby. Hey, listen, goddamn it, Bobby. Now those flips looked good, but once again he went too. Now that right there, if you look at just the flips, not where he is on the track, but just the flips, that was basically identical. Once again he went too far down to the infield. Like he bounced high up in the air for a few of them. And then the last few were pretty slow, going towards the infield, and he eventually landed on his wheels facing towards the infield. Now that one was pretty damn close, but he, yeah, he went way too far to the inside of the track. That looked a lot like that one I saved before the stream started, but the one I saved was way closer to the apron, closer to the outside of the track. You guys hear about Aaron Hernandez? Yeah, that was nuts. That was the first thing I woke up reading this morning. It's so sad. I, mean, I don't feel bad for him, but just someone that used to have so much promise just in prison for murder, and then it comes down to that. The only one I feel bad for is the dude's kid. And that person's kid doesn't deserve to have an upbringing like that. Hey, where's daddy? Well... He killed someone, possibly three people, he was in prison for life, and eventually hung himself. That's depressing. Alright, next subject. Back to the flips. How do you get that setting, return to pit? You just hit escape and click return to pit. No. That one didn't work. Don't go over seventy. Keep it under forty five hundred in seconds. Watch the speed now. Keep it under forty five hundred in seconds. Okay, you're clear of headlights. Don't work yet. See if this one's any better. I have to hit the reverse right at the right spot of the track. Oh, nope. Yeah, hey, my car's still good. Ish. Smoking out there. Gotta love the fighting grip. Gotta love the heightened grip. Gotta love the damage of this mod too. The dude is a scumbag. Just sucks, because, yeah, his kid didn't deserve that. His kid didn't deserve to be born into a fucked up situation like that. So 
just like I said, 10 minutes left if I can't get the closer one than that one I showed you at the beginning of the video. I'm going to be editing that one. Hello, Lake Lloyd. That was interesting. The momentum carried him towards the inside wall. Bam! Off the invisible catch fence. Eh, invisible catch fence. Next. We still got 37, 38 people watching. Thanks, guys, so much. For those of you that have been watching this, if you're enjoying the video so far, Guess you please hit the like button if you haven't yet. I'd really appreciate it. Got a few more minutes of attempts left. I need to try Dave Stacy's flip at some point. I can't find his car though. Oh. In the Lake Lloyd again. Time to go swimming with the fishes. Limit 70. Keep it under 4,500 in seconds. Watch that speed down. Keep it on 4,500 in seconds. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. I get to D class and I racing. Not sure if I'll ever get out of rookie. Not with the luck I have. too close to the infield. That one I did right in practice, right before the stream started, is still the closest one. Still. No! Sorry, other cars. Okay, merge when you can. Into the wall. Into the Kyle Bush wall. Don't go over 70. Keep it under. Corey LaJoy 2017 crash. Which one? <laughs> Three, two, one. That was like what's his face is Johnny Ruth Rutherford's flip. Daytona and the back stretch. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 4,500. Man, I'm hungry. The moment the stream is done in five minutes, I am making some food. Three, two, one. I'm either usually too close to the bottom and my car doesn't spin all the way around or enough to dig in and go sideways once it hits the apron or I'm too high up in the track and it spins around too much. Still good. Let's buff out those scratches. John Banks barrel roll. 
I'm sure I've seen it on NASCAR All, Out, All Outs channel. I'll just have to look it up afterwards. Nope. Well, if it's one where there's no video, I'm sure I haven't seen it then, but if there's video of a wreck and it's on NASCAR All Outs channel, I'm sure I've seen it before. Nothing. put together a list sometime soon of all the ones I've tried so far but haven't gotten yet so I have they're in to be continued that was a hard landing Guy that flipped in the number six, Andy Belmont, Arca, Daytona, I believe 1994, where he's riding on top of the other car, and then yeah, once the other car braked, he went sliding off and dug in and tumbled about six or seven times. And his tumble kind of looked like Ken Schrader's 95 flip. Barrel rolls turned an end over end. Andy Belmont, I believe. That's the same one we're thinking of. Arca Daytona. And still, that one I did right before the stream started is the closest attempt I've gotten so far. That was a hard head on hit right there. I only know that because I'm doing research every single night of what wreck I should try to try next. The slow-mo car crashes. Hello, how's it going? Thank you for joining the stream. This Polish Poland Spring. Get your manual. Yay! We made it into Lake Lloyd from tumbling out of turn two. Just missed that guardrail right there. Made it up over the banking and slid down onto the other side. Alright guys, unfortunately this is probably going to be the last attempt right here. Thank you so much for watching between tonight and tomorrow if this one isn't better than that one I showed you at the beginning of the video I will edit that one because that one is probably the closest I'm gonna get three two one nope into the inside wall, end over end. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you enjoyed the videos. Check out my social media links down in the description. I got Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook for those of you interested for each one of those. And to close out today's video, let's try to cause a massive wreck by going the wrong way. Slow-mo, I already gave you a shout-out. Stop getting greedy. You're welcome.
Wall Cup, Husky Tech, Isaac Smith, some random idiot, do 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 do, Pace Crosser, Nice Cars, and Jazz Free Guy, Harambe. Trying to make sure I didn't miss anyone. We're gonna do it going into a turn down the back stretch this time. Alright, so I will be at re uh, editing this one, which I guess is only a couple shots since there's only really one camera shot of it. Alright, good good call. I'll do it on the back stretch. Green flag, green flag. Green Let's try to get as many cars in the lake as possible. Plus, I want to see if you can go over the wall in this version of Daytona as well for an experiment for a future video. Three, two, one. Well, now. I don't know if anyone went into the lake. That number six and the twenty-one. The wildest rides. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the like button. Subscribe. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace.